Hey guys, Mercury Pro Brandon Coulter here. And today we're out on the lake and we're gonna talk about why you use different rod lengths for the same technique. So stay tuned, we're gonna go try to catch some fish. So guys, our first scenario we're gonna face is we, we pulled up to a bridge. You can hear the, hear the cars going over the overpass, but it's gonna be tight quarters here. We're gonna have bridge pylons, rocks. We're gonna be trying to get into those. So we're gonna go with a 610 or 71 cranking rod for this scenario, because we're not trying to make long casts. We're just trying to be super accurate in tight quarters. A seven footer, anything like bigger than, I'd say seven one, you just, you can't be as accurate with. It's got a lot longer action. And so they're made for distance, really, not, not for accuracy. So when I'm in close quarters, we're trying to cast around pylons and run tight to the bank and all that kind of stuff. So, you know, anytime I'm in that situation, I'm gonna pick a 610 to 71 rod, just depending on, you know, how tight I am. Same thing like if you're around docks. If I'm trying to make real accurate casts around docks, you know, I'm gonna go with a shorter rod. You know, now if I'm fishing wide open bridge riprap, you know, at that point, I'm trying to get distance. You know, it's all about accuracy over distance. If you want distance, you're gonna give up accuracy. If you want accuracy, you're gonna give up distance. We pulled up on, on kind of riprap of, a, of the dam itself. And in this scenario, this is where you want distance, right? You don't have to be super accurate. I mean, surely I can hit the edge of a dam. Right, I mean, in theory, right? There's no overhangs, there's no, there's nothing I'm trying to avoid. So 7.4 to 7.11, even up to eight foot, you know, casting rod is fine for this scenario. You know, something to remember, anytime I can get away with a longer rod, I'm going to. And, and the reason is, is when I'm fighting a fish, you know, I like the rod to have some length to it. You know, it just, the rod has a little more bend to it. It plays the fish a little bit more. So anytime I can, I feel like I can get away with a longer rod, I'm going to. All right, guys, so we're coming up on a stretch here. You can see there's some overhanging trees and some stuff and I, the fish have been on the bank, the ones I've caught today. So I want to get this bait to the bank. So you know, there's really no need for a seven or eight foot flipping stick here because what we're doing is we're trying to be super accurate. We're tight to the bank and we've got stuff that's coming up that's going to be over our head. So if I had an eight foot flipping stick, you know, and I'm, I'm doing that cast right there, I'm going to hit that branch. My line's going to get tied up all over the stuff. You know, I mean, I'm having a hard enough time moving my rod tip around, you know, to make good casts with a seven four. With an eight footer, it, it's almost impossible. So. Anytime you're around overheads, opt for a shorter flipping stick. Go with a 7.4. Um, you know, just keep your same action, you know, 7.4 heavy or whatever you like, medium heavy or heavy. But uh, when you're in close quarters and there's overhangs and why fool with it? All you're going to do is mess up more casts and you're going to be less productive. So, all right, guys, that's a wrap. We caught a few fish. Um, hopefully you learned something. We flipped some bushes. We fl flipped them open water, you know, heist and mats and stuff like that. Cranking showed why we use a long rod for distance versus why we need to be under a bridge or around docks with short accurate casts with a shorter rod. So I uh, hope you learned something. We'll see you next time.